Hey everybody, Kurt here back with another review. Today we're looking at the Elite FTS American Cambridge Bar. So obviously this is a football type of bar or a Swiss bar. It goes by a lot of different names. This one has some unique aspects to it. One, there's a two inch camber built into the bar. Now this serves a couple different purposes. Obviously you can increase the range of motion. You can also decrease the range of motion by lifting on it backwards. Uh, it's got a lot of benefits, it's got a lot of applications and training. It's even got the semi-supinated grip, which is a little bit easier on your joints and shoulders. And overall, I've been using this thing for about... So I've been using this bar for about three months, uh, and I honestly, I really like it. I think that for the money, now this does cost $289 plus shipping, but for the money, you're going to be pretty hard-pressed to find another bar made in USA that competes with the cost of this one. There are a couple things I like about it. There's also a couple things that I think could be a little bit better, uh, but let's just roll right into that. Let's start off with some of the things that I don't really appreciate about the bar. If you watched my initial unboxing of this bar, if you click up here, it'll take you to there. Uh, you will have remembered that there was a piece of slag on one of these weld joints that was sticking off so far and was so sharp that it actually caused me uh, to have to break it off so that I wouldn't cut myself. As for the rest of the welds, they are kind of big and they're not really polished, but that's fine. But that one piece of slag was pretty sharp, in my opinion, that probably should not have passed whatever quality control measures that Elite FTS has in place. But nevertheless, it arrived here. All I did is I put a file on it, I knocked off the slag and then smoothed it out. I had a little bit of black spray paint, I just put a little bit of black spray paint on there to keep it from oxidizing. Uh, a couple other things I don't like, and this one's really stupid, but this bar weighs like 38 pounds, which is a super random weight. I really wish that it just weighed 40 pounds. Now I think this is interesting, the website actually says it weighs 38. Obviously with bars like this, they're going to vary slightly depending on the quality of the steel that they get in, depending on the quality of welds. My bar actually weighs 40 pounds. I weighed it using my hanging scale, which I'll link down below. I use it to weigh all my implements. But when it comes to things that I don't really like about the bar, that's about where it stops. So let's roll right into the things I do love about this bar. One, I really like the Elite FTS branding that goes across right here. It is a sticker, but it's been really resilient and it stays on with no issues at all. I really like the, uh, I know this is going to sound weird, but the lack of a knurl that's on these handles. I've had a couple other Swiss type bars in the past and they've attempted to put a knurl on this kind of steel. And it's just my opinion that when you try to knurl this type of steel, so this is like a hollow, like one inch steel, it tends to just be crappy because all you end up doing is you either powder coat it or you paint it and you, you just lose out on all the knurls. So I like the fact that this one here, it didn't try to be knurled. They just said, you know what, we're going to make it and we're just going to do a smooth coat on the handles. So I appreciate the lack of a crappy knurl. I like the smooth handles on this particular bar. That doesn't mean that I don't think that knurled handles would be nice if they were done right. I'm just saying that for this bar, these handles are done really well. I also love the availability of sleeve length, like it's a good sleeve length, it's not too long, not too short. I also really like that it came with the end caps on the end of the bar. I'm, I don't like open end caps, I don't know why, I just don't. It's just, it doesn't seem finished to me, and even though these are plastic end caps on the side, that doesn't really matter in my book. It looks good, finished, it's very just nicely done. I also like how they reinforced this area right here. Uh, it seems like it's two solid pieces, or actually like three solid pieces that all come together, and it just makes it really solid feeling. Again, there's nothing about this bar that feels like it's going to break. Not, nothing at all. So now some of the features of it. So obviously it's a Swiss bar, so you can do overhead movements with it, you can do bench press movements with it, you can, uh, when you bench with it, you can do rowing movements with it. I mean, you, I mean, anything you can do with a barbell, I mean, I wouldn't recommend deadlifting with it, but I guess you could if you really wanted to. Uh, 
Well, one of the really cool things about this camber is that it can either increase your range of motion by two inches or it can decrease your range of motion by two inches. I'm approximately nine months post shoulder surgery, post shoulder surgery, and I've actually found that I prefer to do like a board press with my shoulder. Getting too deep in the range of motion, especially on like a bench press, for me has caused actual pain and having the ability to do a board style press by myself with nobody else having to hold the board or have anything attached to the bar, like it's just the bar itself is the board press. And again, I just grab out here and bench away. This particular model also has this semi supinated grips and they are the most extreme on angle, the closer that you are in. So as you get spread out, the angle kind of comes a little bit more towards 90 degrees. It's a very subtle amount, but still it's there. So what other examples of this are there in the market? Well, obviously Titan Fitness has their version of it. And like most things Titan Fitness, when they rip something off, if it's not the V2, usually they don't do that good of a job. But I actually have not used the Titan Fitness version. So I can't tell you for sure whether it's a piece of junk or it's a quality barbell. There's also another brand, there's Kabuki Strength. They have their version of this bar. And instead of it being a camber like this, it's actually the same arc as the Duffalo bar. And I'm pretty sure it has knurled handles, but the cost of it is significantly more at, I think, $450 for the bar. Although you could get it on a cosmetic blemish, but even then, you're paying a lot more. You are getting probably a really nice feeling better product knowing which knowing kabuki strength products which i do have a couple of kabuki strength products it probably is really nice but at the end of the day this bar 289 dollars seems like a really good value plus it's made in the usa and sold by elite fts so you're supporting elite fts which if you know anything about the powerlifting world Elite FTS not only has equipment, but tons and tons of resources available to lifters uh, everywhere. And most of it is free. So the bottom line, would I recommend buying this product? 100% yes. Do I think that Elite FTS should maybe do a little bit of a better job packaging? Yes. Maybe a little bit better job QCing some of these welds, especially when you find that sharp slag on there. But they've made a quality barbell that has tons of functionality and can be used for overhead movements, rows, and bench press movements. So, but that's my review. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I appreciate each and every single one of you that watch my videos every single time. Please do hit that like button, subscribe for more content coming down the road. And remember that when it comes to garage gyms, you always want it to be better, awesome, and of course, badass. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.